हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गुरु मंत्र शिक्षा का ग्रंथ आई एम योर एजुकेटर निधि दुआ एंड आई टीच यू केमिस्ट्री एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म सो बेसिकली गाइस दिस इज आर गेट एग्जाम सिलेबस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन एंड योर स्टडीज आर गोइंग इन अ कंसिस्टेंट मैनर यू ऑल आर डूइंग हार्ड वर्क एंड स्मार्ट वर्क सो बेसिकली we have started section 1 named atomic structure and periodicity we have completed this section in the previous lectures in the previous videos and we have started section 2 named structure and bonding these are the topics which we have covered in the previous lectures and this is your section 1 this is your section 2 in which we have covered covalent bond and ionic bond here this is a just a small information if you have not studied about these two topics please go and see the video of these video these topics because in this particular lecture the concept of covalent bond and ionic bond will help you to understand about the polarization so basically without further delay let's get started our new topic polarization so basically polarization in chemistry means deformation of symmetric electron charge cloud of anion by cation or you can say when a cation approaches an anion closely the positive charge of a cation attract the electron cloud of anion towards itself due to this electrostatic force of attraction between them at the same time cation also repel the positively charged nucleus of anion as a result the deformation of symmetric electron charge cloud of anion by cation is called polarization of anion generally cation with smaller size or with high positive charge cause the high polarization of anion due to the both combined effect the attraction and repulsion the attraction between electron cloud of anion to the cation and the repulsion between the positive charge of cation to the positive charge of anion cloud of anion is bulged or elongated towards the cation and this combined effect is called as polarization this combined effect attraction and repulsion is known as polarization basically polarization or ionic bond is formed by the transfer of electron as the result cation and anion are formed so cation form distort the shape of electron cloud of anion and distorted of electron cloud of the negatively charged ion by the positively charged ion is known as polarization and the ability of cation and anion to polarize a nearby anion is called as its polarization power of cation now the term polarizability stands for the ability of an anion to get polarized by the cation polarization simply means to see the covalent character in ionic compounds you can simply say this statement polarization means to see the covalent character to check the covalent character in ionic compounds that's why it is written here polarization is directly proportional to the covalent character polarization of anion causes some sharing of electron between the ions so ionic bond acquires some certain covalent character that's why it is saying that polarization means to see the covalent character in ionic character and when you see the covalent character magnitude in ionic compounds this was given by this was suggested by a scientist named fazan and his new rules were named as fazan's rule which depends on a number of factors so basically the factors which affects the polarization are known as fazan's rule and the factors are as follows number 1 is the size of cation polarization of anion increases as the size of cation decreases 
which means polarization is inversely proportional to the size of cation. For example, when you talk about in a particular group, in particular series of a group, BeCl2, MgCl2, CaCl2, SrCl2 and BaCl2. As you know, if you move from top to bottom, along top to bottom, size of cation increases. Pe, Mg, Ca, Sr, Ba. Size increases from this series. If the size increases, the covalent character will decreases and the ionic character will increases. Next you have size of anion. If the size of anion increases for a given cation, the covalent character will increase which means polarization is directly proportional to the size of anion. And when you move along the gro group, along in the group of halogen, group number 17, you will see the size of anion increases. If the size of anion increases, polarization increases, which means covalent character will increases because you know polarization means to see the, to check the covalent character. If the covalent character will increase, the ionic character will decrease. I hope now you all are cleared about the polarization means. What is polarization? What stands for polarization? Next is the factor that is charge of cation and anion. So basically as the charge of cation increases, polarization increases. As the charge increases, the covalent character will increases. For example, in this particular series, NaCl, MgCl, AlCl3, SiCl4. When you move along the period, you will see sodium has single positive charge, magnesium has twice the positive charge, Al has plus 3 charge, while Si has plus 4 charge. Along the period, charge of cation is being increasing. So the covalent character will increase. If the covalent character will increase, then ionic character will decrease. Now you have the most important topic of the application of the concept of polarization. Here I would suggest to please note down these points, learn them accordingly. Because this, this is the most important topic of this particular lecture. So, as you have seen, the polarization power of a cation is usually called ionic potential. And this ionic potential is also known as charge density. Ionic potential is represented by a symbol that is your phi. This is a phi symbol, which means phi is equals to charge upon size. Phi is directly proportional to charge on cation while it is inversely proportional to size of anion. This ionic potential is determined, is used to determine the covalent and ionic character of a molecule. This phi is directly proportional to covalent character and inversely proportional to ionic character. Which means if you increase the value of phi, the covalent character will increase while if you increase the value of phi, ionic character will decrease. From left to right in a period, phi value of phi will increases and if the value of phi will increases, then the covalent character will increases because you know phi is directly proportional to covalent character. For example, when you talk about this particular series, sodium, magnesium, aluminium and silicon, charge is being increasing. If charge is increasing, value of phi will increase because you know phi is equals to charge upon size. If phi is increasing, then covalent character will increase. And if covalent, if covalent character will increase, the ionic character will decrease. Now, in next example, in particular group from top to bottom, the value of phi will decrease. Why? Because the size of particular cation will increase. As you can see in this particular group, from top to bottom, size will increase. If size will increase, value of phi will decrease and value if value of phi will decrease then the covalent character will decrease and ionic character will increase. Next point is point number two that is to determine the nature of oxide. Here I would suggest to please learn this data accordingly 
because question, a number of times question have been asked about this in particular question in particular example you will be given the value of phi if the value of under root phi is less than 2.2 then the nature of oxide will be basic but if the value of phi is equals to the 2. Point, in between the 2.2 to 3.2 the nature of oxide will be amphoteric now neutral oxides doesn't react with acid and base and the neutral oxides example are water and carbon monoxide. Amphoteric oxides Al2O3. Amphoteric oxides means the oxide which can react with both atom uh, with, with metals or non metals. And aluminium is one of the element which is amphoteric in nature with, which can react with metal as well as with non metal. That's why this amphoteric oxide can react with acid and base and for acidic oxide value of under root 5 should be more than 3.2 and this is the example showing the value of phi is decreasing in this particular example you will be given the value of phi if the value of phi is decreasing in this order the basic character will increases third point is to determine the conductivity of metal halides if value of under root phi is less than 2.2, the Mx type, here M represents the metal and X represents the halide. Halide means halogen group. In place of X, there could be anything like fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine, any halogen. And if the value of phi is less than 2.2, its nature will be ionic nature. And if it is ionic nature, then it should be a good conductor of electricity. If the value of phi is 2.2, then the Mx type has the covalent nature and it is the best bad conductor of electricity. Number fourth point is the formation of complex compounds. This is very very important slide which you have to remember. Smaller the cation, more will be the tendency to forming the complex compounds. Means for the formation of complex compounds, the size of cation should be very very smaller. As the value of phi increases, there is the tendency to form complex compounds. The tendency to form complex compounds also increases. If the value of phi is low, there will be no tendency to form complex compounds. That's why S block at metals do not have tendency to form complex compounds. But the exceptions are lithium, beryllium and magnesium. Although they have small size but they can form a complex compound. Next is D block metals have the tendency to form complex compound. D block metals can form a complex compound. Next is the color of compound. As the value of phi increases, the covalent character increases. And if the covalent character increases, the color of compound, the color intensity of compounds will also increases. That's why it is written here, more the covalent character increases, more the covalent character, more will be the color intensity or color intensity or color density is directly proportional to the value of phi. That is your ionic potential. For example, when you move along the group AGF, AGCL, AGBR, AGI, when you move along the series, you will see that AGF is colorless. While moving towards the AGI, the color of the compounds is increasing. The color intensity of the compounds is increasing. From colorless to it becomes white, then light yellow and, light, and then yellow. Next point is diagonal relationship. Many elements shows diagonal relationships with each other in the particular periodic table. These diagonal relationships is being showing by the elements because they have the same value of phi. Since the value of phi for Be plus 2 is almost of the same order as of the diagonally Al plus 3. Hence have many similar properties. If the if two elements are showing diagonal relationship, they should have the same order of value of phi 
that's why they show diagonal relationship and that's why they have these similar properties. Phi for Li is equals to the Ng plus 2. That's why they show diagonal relationship and they have some similar properties. Now, I hope you all are cleared about the effect of polarization, about the Fazan's rule and the application of polarization. This topic is very important as for the gate exam. Now, in case, if you are new here on our YouTube channel, Guru Mantra Siksha Ka Granth, please do like, share and subscribe. You can also join our Telegram channel named Gur Mantra. You, here you will get free PDF, free notes and the recent updates of your exam. You can also visit our website. You can also join our Facebook page named Gur Mantra Siksha Ka Granth. For further queries, you can mail us or you can contact us on the given number. Thank you very much guys. I hope you like the video.